Look at the corner of my screen. Look what it says. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. And today, um, as you can tell in the little corner, there is the 1.0.0 update symbol. Now I know I skipped the 0 0.16.0 update, but you see, I was really busy and um, I thought it would be better to sh showcase it with the 1.0 update. So, um, yeah, I'll let showcase everything. So first, a new menu. This right here, love it. Next, press play button. Um, worlds, they have pictures now. Um, they look like this. This is this is the icons. Um, create, you know, we cannot connect to realms right now. Um, realms connections right up here. Friends tab. You can add friends from like um, your database of friends in Xbox Live, and then joinable friends like the joinable friends in the servers, and you also have land games up here. here. So all that kind of good stuff, and now let's go into an edit screen. This is the same you would see when you make something. This is the world stuff. Cheats. I'm gonna get to that in a second. I'm gonna keep cheats on. Multiplayer. Multiplayer game. Broadcast to Xbox Live. Broadcast to land. They've got that stuff there. Add-ons. Resource packs. And behavior packs. And um, that's everything you have for editing, but you do have more when you're actually creating. Let me just show you quickly. This is what it shows now. You can choose realm or um, world. Press a question mark and I'll show you what these are. And um, you can choose a festive mashup pack. Or you can click generate random. So let's actually do a new world right here. See, they have... Um, oh, actually, they don't have as much stuff sorry it changed but now let's go into this and there's actually something really cool i want to show you um at the end of this video but that's basically the um screen now as you can see the bar at the top shows the ender dragon and here is the ender dragon i just wanted to quickly showcase this before i showcase anything else this beautiful creature and here is the ender dragon found through ender portals now um, like before, you can also wear its head. Um, also available are the shulker mobs, but I will showcase those later. But also end rods, again, showcase those later. These are the end crystals that you find on top of here. So if I decided to blow one up, I can just place it back. There we go. And as you can tell, the dragon just used it. So those work. And also they have dragon eggs, obviously. But now it's time to actually show you um, the way to get here. So I'm just going to quickly fall out of the world. Goodbye world. And then I'm just going to land here. This is actually really cool. Easter egg, guys. Down here, down here, we have a, basically a copy of what was up there. It must be like a PE glitch for being part of the new update, but yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Or it, also, it sort of just looks like part of the thing is just sticking through the ground in the part. So now it's time to show you something from 16.0. Going back 16.0, if it's set to cheats, which mine is, you can now say that you can now do slash commands. So I can do slash. See, it has all the slash commands here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go slash teleport enter. So you can do those kinds of commands, slash, I'm going to do a slash, say, we will have lots of fun to 
today. And now, the little at symbol you cannot check with other players for these are uh, this can be changed to your privacy and then safety. Okay, so that's a little weird. So let me do slash something else. How about slash give Lava Craft Gamer I will say I'm gonna give myself a beacon. Slash give. Beacon. Amount needed one. Enter. And I've just been given a beacon. Do you know how cool that is, guys? Oh, also, beacons are in. I'll show off beacons just right now. That's why I got the beacon. So I can show you guys this. So, blue diamond blocks. But did you just see that right there? I just use a command in Pocket Edition of Minecraft. Minecraft is almost as good as the PC at this point. In the 1.0 update. Hmm. Um, comment down below... Um, like the video if you feel the same that this feeling right here from this sentence. Dang, bro. I just bought Minecraft for like, I don't know, on the PC for like 30 bucks, but I can buy it here for like, what? $8 and it has almost all the same stuff. Yeah, but here's a beacon. I can insert stuff for powers, like, let me just insert a diamond quickly. So I can open this up, put in a diamond, and I can get any of these. So I'm going to choose to get jump boost, and go pow. I've got jump boost, pretty cool. i got jump boost, the closer I am to begin, the stronger it is. But the farther away I get, um, it'll probably go away. So just, just to make sure I don't forget my spawn point. Now, another thing with, um, the 1.0 update I wanted to quickly show off is the working of, basically the 1.0 update is the ender update, because it basically adds all sorts of cool stuff from the end, so let me just go down this pipe. Now, when you kill Enderman, now you're going to get something called an ender pearl and if you have an ender pearl with a blaze powder you'll get something called the eye of ender now you might already know what these things are but just in case you don't let's say i get in some sticky situation let's say i cannot get out of here take an ender pearl throw it boom i'm over here super cool i can be an enderman now okay now i'm down here Okay, so, you look around, you search these dungeons forever, then you'll f come across a chest, and it's like, wow, thanks for the bread and apples I could so easily found on the surface. They used to actually have emeralds, like, what a ripoff, but now they do have the actual ender portal. And so here it is. You put the eyes of ender in their sockets, there's normally like two or three in there already. The portal lights up. And you throw an ender pearl in. And then. So now I'm just going to get out a diamond sword and an anvil and a amazing enchant. How about, like, what? Sharpness 5. That's good. Sharpness 5 diamond sword. Let's just quickly make this. There we go. Now it's time to fly up here. 
and let's kill the ender dragon guys so if you don't know how to kill the ender dragon the first thing you gotta do is you gotta come and climb up these towers and blow up the crystals the regeneration crystal so he cannot regenerate more. and if you hit one that he is on you get him hurt because it's literally like you're destroying some dude's power source in the hospital. It's kind of crazy. But let's try to fly down and destroy this crystal. Okay, now I come to this one. I gotta break it open. Destroy it. Fly down. Come on, die. Boom. And for now, there's just a few over here. These. Boom. Boom. Come on. There we go. So now he has nothing left. So now you just have to fly around and hit him. Although he does sometimes come to the middle, and then you really want to get him. Health bar gets up at the top of your screen. Well, text and I think that's pretty dang cool. So now we can fight. Damage dealt. And now he's far away. And then we can um, kill him. And then I'll show you what you can do. He dies. Pretty cool stuff. You get a ton of different stuff you can do. So, um, adding the end was really cool because it added all sorts of fun stuff. Um, that'll make your Minecraft Pocket Edition journey just all that much better. And me and my father sort of have like a series I don't record where we play Minecraft and we try to make the best world we can. So, what happened was, we died. And then we respawned in our house. And then we realized we could just keep dying and respawning in the overworld in the nether. There's nothing else to do in Minecraft. What is the purpose? So we stop playing all together. So guys, um, now that the end is in there, I hope we can play more. But as you see, the end has a lot of new stuff that is hopefully going to up our play rate and up Minecraft's purchase rate. And Minecraft Pocket Edition will become so much popular that it used to be, it used to be not very popular because you couldn't do much with it. It was like a tiny little app on your phone. And you're like, you can play it, but sure. Yeah, you can play it, sure, but it's just like boring because of actually doing anything there. Um, it gets pretty boring after a while once you get good. And then it's just like, well, that was a waste of my life. And he dies, he does this. He goes flying into space. So he goes flying in space with the cool sound effect, and I'm not sure if you actually heard my voice during there, because that was really loud. But then he dro he rains XP on the portal. So we can just collect all the XP. Oh, sorry, it's a she. She He's don't pop out eggs. And then here is the egg. You tap on it, and then it'll teleport somewhere, like here. And now to get it, you need to break this like this. And then you need to put down a torch under it, and then break this block, and it'll fall and break. And then you grab yourself a dragon egg. And then you can just put it wherever you want, but you don't want to hop in that portal. No, sir. You want to get out a ender pearl, and you are to fly around and look for 
the bad rock thing in the sky. Alright, sorry about that. My game just crashed, but you want to look for a small little bedrock thing floating around somewhere in your world in the end once you complete the Ender Dragon battle. I'm not actually seeing mine. Hmm. Where is mine? Okay, so if you actually want to play in the end, it is very hard. I just realized because, like, everything is so laggy, and it crashes your game a lot. But every time it crashes the game, it tries to put something in. Like, in my case, probably that little portal thing. <laughs> that I'm not seeing. So, um, you would see it normally. Look up, make sure it isn't like high up in the sky that I missed it. So, it's very likely to be in the end, but. Somewhere you should find that. I'll just let you know what was in there. Are these little end structures? They're in the far lands. They're called the far lands. And they have chorus plants in them. I'm going to quickly place some chorus plants around and then wait for them to grow. And then they would grow like this. And then sometimes they'll drop these, which are chorus fruits. Now I'll showcase chorus fruits in just a second, but first, the shulker mob that I was talking about earlier, they will spawn, like here, but they'll spawn inside the structures and you have to get through them. So, let me actually just quickly go into game mode. Oops, sorry. I actually meant to do it the other way around, so it might be mode to survival, but I can quickly set it to survival here, which is much more <coughs> It'll open like this, and then I'll shoot a pellet at me. And this will give me the levitation effect. So I think that's pretty cool. But then after a little while, it does run out, and you will fall to the ground and die. But to kill these guys, it's um, they're much less vulnerable when their shells are closed. <coughs> like right now, they will. Right now, they're easily killed, and they drop these, which in PC shulker shells can be used to make shulker boxes, which are like backpacks, but not yet. Not in pocket edition, so yeah. But you'll also find ender like end boats that are flying in the sky and they'll have good loot in them and they'll also have something called elytra. Or elytra or however you pronounce it. So you can wear these. They're wings. Oh yes, baby, we have not forgotten about the those wings that you wanted for Christmas. They're still in Minecraft. They're here. They're in Minecraft Pocket Edition and yeah, now let's go home. 
And so when you go home, the credits will roll, and this will happen. It'll say Minecraft Pocket Edition this time. And I won't have all the jizz jazz. It'll just get to that really weird story that my friend Game Theorists actually decrypted. So go check their channel out. I will um, link that video down there, but in the description. But as you can see, I see the player you mean. Lovecraft Gamer? Yes, take care. Has reached our higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are a part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things. When it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface. Very flexible. And less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices. Before the players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created, and it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted, and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha, huh, the original interface. A million years old, yet it still works. But what tr true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? He worked with a million others to sculpt the true world in the fold of something, and created a something for something in the something. It cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That it must achieve in the long dream of life, not the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe. Yes, but there are times it is sad, in the long dream. It creates worlds that have no summer, and shivers under a black sun, and it takes up creation for reality. To cure it of a sorrow would be to destroy it. Sorrow is part of its own private task, we cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dream, I want to tell them they are building two real worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them they're important to the universe. Sometimes when they have not made a true connection in a while, I want to speak to them word of fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them. This world you take for truth is merely blah and blah. I wish to tell you that blah is in the blah. I cannot read that last line, guys. And yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body, again. Yes, player. Use his name. Lavacraft Gamer. Player of Games. I will normally use your name. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Sorry about that. Feel air in your lungs. Not the air in your limbs return. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity and air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are. A body touching the universe again at every point. As though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? We were once called the spirit of the mountain. Father, Sun, Mother, Moon. Ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the great men. I can't read the last of that. We don't change. We are the universe. We are everything that you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and through your eyes. And with the universe not touch your skin and through your player. To see the player. I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Lovecraft Gamer. Sometimes it thought itself human. On the thin crust of spinning a globe of molten rock. A ball of molten rock circled a ball of blazing gas that was 330,000 times more massive than it. It was so far apart that it ate to... Guys, I'm just going to not read this. You can read the rest. I read a lot of it for you, though. And now it's going to say building terrain. I think the, um, the story is pretty dang cool. So, now we're here going into survival and I'm going to show the course fruit sorry not settings resume game and I'm going to eat it because you can eat it. What? 
He'll be teleported to random places, and normally this is used to avoid shulker attacks because he be, might be teleported back to the ground. So, yeah, let me just um, go back into creative. And now let me show you that cool interface I wanted to show you. So that's basically all the end stuff, and I did show you. Okay, so what we're going to do is create new. And we want to click generate random. Then you're going to go to seed, and you're going to click enter. See this cool thing? It shows all sorts of seeds that you could choose. But then you click search, and I want to search something that you probably don't even know. You might. Ocean. Monument. As you can tell, it doesn't really show up anything. But that's really the way of showing off stuff like that. To find the scene. Pretty cool. I think so myself. Now, guys, I'm not really sure how to tell you, but they have some really cool stuff in um, the... Minecraft um 0.16.0 update. As well as other things like for example the 1.0 update and the 0.15.0 update. But 0.16.0 update did add some cool stuff, so let me just quickly show you these mobs. Yes, guardians. Guardians, 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 guardians and elder guardians. Now that means there are ocean monuments. Yes, there are. I don't know where they are because um they have not actually found seeds for them so far. So I'm just gonna quickly breeze over this, and I found nothing. So yeah, it's not pretty easy to find them, but if you can, good luck to you. And um yeah, link give me a seed um down in the description if it has an ocean monument so i can showcase that in a different video but um yeah 16.0 also updated all the added all the stuff from on that it also added this cool item it's the observer observers are like um i don't know how to explain them sort of like um block detection systems so like bud systems Block update detectors, if you don't know what that means. And then I'm going to put a torch and a lamp. And here's a cool thing. They transfer a signal instantly. Instantly over any distance. I'm pretty sure it goes the other way around, actually. Like this. Okay. I'm not 100% sure how they work. I was just told they work like that. So if you guys can figure out how to work them... Great. I'm pretty sure I already showed observers in some other video. I showcased some stuff, but actually, I might have showcased 16.0. I'm not sure. I think I know I tried to. I'm not sure if I actually did. But I'm sorry if I'm like showing stuff you already seen. Although I'm pretty sure I haven't. So now I'm going to put on the Elytra. Oh, Elytra. But I already have them on. Actually, oops. But I'm going to go into survival mode. Not, not commands. This, this. Boop. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is. Oh god, no. You wanna go and you wanna double jump off a cliff and you will fly down. Double jump off some high place. So, let me just quickly get back up to where I was. Most time I'm gonna do it in third person. See, I have jump boots, which really helps. Okay, so now I'm up here. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this and view and change this to my third person back view. I have the wings on. I fly safely to the ground, except I didn't land in the water that time, so it wasn't very comfy, but yeah. It's kind of weird. Definitely 
jump and then jump again, you will sort of like fly midair. You can sort of do it off a place like here. And you can like run and then go right into the water. And it's really fun when you land in the water. But yeah, that's sort of the cool Elytra. And um, if you think I forgot anything, because I might have, leave it down in the comments. Be happy to showcase it. But for now, bye.